Last week, we determined to establish your connection with God, you must trust Jesus and only Jesus. Some of you are thinking, amen, pastor. That's what I did years ago when I trusted Jesus for salvation. Good for you. I established my connection with the Creator when I was seven. I remember it like it was yesterday. My dad was a pastor, and he never forced us to make a decision for Christ because he wanted the decision to be ours and not his or anyone else's. So on a Sunday after church, we're gathered around the table to eat lunch, and I just can't take it anymore. And I tell my father, I want to, I need to accept Jesus into my heart. So we went back to his bedroom where it was quiet and he went through the Roman road in his Bible and he explained all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. And that the price for that sin, the consequence is death, spiritual separation from God for eternity. But God demonstrated his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And then he explained that if I prayed and asked Jesus to come into my heart and forgive me of my sins, he would. And I said I wanted Jesus. And so we knelt down by his bed and he led me in the sinner's prayer. And I've been online connected for the past 52 years. But what I found out in those 52 years is while that moment was a new birth and a new beginning, I needed to enhance and improve that original connection. Once we're connected to God through Jesus, we must continually upgrade the connection. Oh, God isn't changing, but as we grow older, we change. And we should be continually improving our relationship with God. It's called spiritual growth. Peter concluded his two epistles with this powerful directive, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For most of you, you don't need to get connected. You need to improve your connection by improving your relationship with God. The best way to do that is by committing yourself to spend time alone with God every day. That's how you can upgrade your connection. There are two things you must do every day if you want to upgrade your connection and grow spiritually. You must study your Bible, and you must pray. It's profoundly simple, but simply profound. Let's briefly consider each of these disciplines. God speaks to us through the Bible. I'm amazed by how many Christians, they've never received a message from God directly. That's what they say. What are you listening for? Are you waiting for an audible voice? Are you looking for God to write a message across the sky? Are you waiting for the phone to ring and the caller ID on your phone to say, from God, message for you? Or are you wanting a text message to pop up that's from God? Or perhaps you check your email every day looking for a message from Yahweh at heaven.com. Don't hold your breath. You need to know God speaks to his children through his written word, the Bible. Bible is an acrostic for basic instructions before leaving earth. Your father has given you an owner's manual, a user's guide, and it's called the Bible. But I'm amazed at how many people who claim to be followers of Jesus don't open the Bible every day. You may be thinking, what do you mean? God speaks through the Bible? If you want to grow, my advice to you is make a commitment to read God's Word every single morning. It will enhance your connection. For for many years, I've tried to read five psalms and a proverb every morning. And during this plague, this season of plague, one of the psalms that helped me was Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And I decided to pray it this way. Lord, you are my rock and my salvation, my victory. I trust only in you. Thank you that anyone attempting to get to me must go through you first. These are the issues. These are the challenges. These are the struggles and these are the fears 
that I'm dealing with today. I wait quietly before you because my only hope is in you. God speaks to us through his word. We speak to God through prayer. You can call it an email. Start every day in a private prayer with the Lord. Jesus did. Mark says very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Jesus had a special connection with God the Father. He was one with the Father, yet he recognized the importance of spending time alone with his Father in prayer in the morning. If Jesus needed that, wouldn't it be fair to think we might need it too? Maybe even more? How bad do you want your relationship with God to grow? If your relationship's going to grow, the only way it's going to grow is through spending time alone. Maybe you need a daily reminder. Well, put the event in your calendar. Set an alert or an alarm. As much as you want to meet God for daily time of personal fellowship, he wants to meet with you even more. God created you to have fellowship with him. That's why he made Adam and Eve. We read in Genesis that before Adam and Eve sinned, God would walk and talk with them in the cool of the evening. I had some wonderful times of corporate worship and fellowship in my day, but the sweetest times I've ever had with the Lord are when I've met him alone in my quiet time. God wants to connect with you. He's provided the way to connect through his son. He's also provided a way for us to upgrade that connection. He wants to communicate to you every day through his word and for us to communicate with him each day through prayer. Is that what's missing in your connection? Do you need an upgrade? Try spending time alone with God each morning. It'll change your connection. Thank you, Lord, for meeting with me daily, for understanding my hurts and my pains, and for continuing to provide the comfort and encouragement I need. Thank you for teaching me through your word. And thank you, Lord, for showing me just how much you care, that your promises that you continue to reveal to me are important and they're real and they're powerful. So I pray, Lord, that we would make a commitment to upgrade our connection daily and that we would realize that Seasons of refreshing come from your presence. And spending time alone with you is irreplaceable in our relationship. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh